It was clear that Ram trucks can't keep pace with the current configuration, especially the ZF transmission. When General Motors launched an all-new Allison gearbox for its heavy-duty trucks, it was the game-changing feature and many Ram enthusiasts were hoping to see the same pairing with their Cummins diesel. The 2025 Ram 2500 is making dreams come true. Not only that the transmission is new, but also the engine. In this video we're unveiling what's going on. Stellantis Group is using Cummins units for their big rigs. A 6.7-liter turbo diesel is tuned to deliver 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque for the Ram 2500, while on the Ram 3500 the high output package is available with enhanced specs, 420 ponies and 1,075 pound-feet. But, these are not class-leading results, with Ford F350 beating both records. Ram trucks won't chase trends. Engineers are focusing on the performance, which was seriously held back by the outdated ZF Eisen transmission. Fans were hoping to get the Allison gearbox, the one GM twins are using. But, that is not happening, and instead, the 2025 Ram 2500 will get a totally new transmission. The ZF Powerline 8 pace case is designed for heavy-duty vehicles, thanks to a collaboration between ZF, Cummins, and Ram engineers. This transmission is built to handle serious grunt, and with the power takeoff feature, the torque is going to be absolutely monstrous. We don't have precise figures yet because the company is going to pair this transmission with a brand new engine. Insiders report about a 7.2 liter inline 6 Cummins power plant that will definitely be more capable than the current one. Although not a priority, Ram trucks are going to match power outputs of the Ford Super Duty, but only if you select and properly tune the 3500 model. As for the entry level 2025 Ram 2500, it'll pack a punch, but with slightly more conservative output. Insiders also mentioned that the Cummins is going to be the only option in the future. All the truck makers are offering their heavy duty models with petrol units as the entry level setup, but oil burners are far more popular for their unmatched capabilities. Well, Ford launched a couple of new gasoline configurations for the Super Duty. On the other hand, stories about the Cummins as a sole engine for the Ram 2500 HD coincides with the phase out of the 6.4 Hemi V8 petrol in certain models. For example, the Ram 1500 is now featuring an all-new twin-turbo inline-6. Although it is capable of producing 510 horsepower, it is unlikely that a six-pot mill is replacing a V8 in the heavy-duty class. Reports are not officially confirmed, but all signs suggest the Hemi's days might be numbered. The new spec sheet calls for some fresh cosmetic tweaks to match the big fancy reveal. Well, the styling isn't too important, but heavy-duty trucks also need to make a statement with the eye-catching design. Bold and aggressive, that is what the 2025 Ram 2500 is going to be look like. Expect it to draw some design cues from its half-ton sibling, blending ruggedness with just the right amount of flair. The interior is also getting updates, particularly with the infotainment system. The new Uconnect 5 is packed with more features and options than ever before. We might see the off-road pages as a part of the Ram 2500 exclusive power wagon package. If you want to combine off-road performance with premium accessories, the Rebel Grade is the best option. The heavy-duty lineup sticks with three cab configurations, with the regular cab reserved for the entry-level tradesman trim. With so many updates, enthusiasts expect another price bump, especially if the petrol engine gets the axe. The new 7.2-liter Cummins, being bigger and more powerful, is sure to carry a heftier cost tag than its predecessor. Still, Stellantis doesn't have much wiggle room for price hikes, as the base model already starts around $45,000, and the competition is offering similar deals.